Hey, LaBurn98 here with the second part of how I capture and render my videos uh, for YouTube. Uh, so, after you follow the first part of my tutorial, you should have your PS3, your 360, or Wii set up. And you should have the signal split, and also have uh, your resolution set to 720p, or whatever the equivalent is for the Wii. I, I honestly, I don't have one, so I can't really tell you specifics for, uh, for the Wii. But I'm sure it's similar. So anyway, uh, once you have that, it's time to uh, capture your videos. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Aver Media Center. Uh, it came included with the capture card, although I highly recommend that you go to their website and uh, get the updated version of the software. I'll put a link in the description. So anyways, uh, once it loads up, uh, go to the settings. Then you want to select TV. You want to configure your HD input source. Uh, this this is the same for component and HDMI. You want then to go to configure recording. You want to make sure that MPEG2 is selected. Then click on edit. I set my video quality to 15,000. Uh, I believe at default it's 30,000. While it looks really nice, it's really not needed for 720p, especially if you're putting it up on YouTube. Uh, everything else I believe I leave at default, uh, but you can look at this. Anyway, uh, once you're done, click on save, and then save, and then you can go back to the main menu. So anyways, uh, once it loads up, uh, select the TV, and then uh, select your input. I, I have the Xbox 360 currently on component, and I have my PS3 through HDMI. Uh, uh, actually, I think this is probably a good time to show you what happens when you try to capture uh, footage on the PS3. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll load up uh, Uncharted 2. Okay, and uh, while it's loading up, I'll push the record button. Here's the record button. This is what happens uh, when you try to record through HDMI on the PS3. Uh, you get the program is protected and content cannot be recorded and blah 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 uh, so that's why we'll have another video after this uh, showing you how to bypass this but anyway I just want to show you that so uh, I'll close that for now and we'll go to back to the Xbox on component uh, Xbox like I said before uh, doesn't have that problem on HDMI so this video will be the same for the Xbox regardless if it's on component or HDMI so basically to record, all you want to do is select your clip or, or if you're playing Modern Warfare 2, play your match, whatever. And before you go to play your match, uh, hit the record button down here. Okay, it'll go black for a second. That means you're recording. If you look on the top left, uh, you'll actually see the uh, recording icon. So go ahead and, and uh, i got to get my Xbox controller here syncing it. Go ahead, do your clip. Or whatever. Like that. Now oh, you get the idea. Anyway, go through that. And once you have your clip or your match done, go ahead and hit the stop button. It'll go black again for a second. And there you go. Your clip should be done. So once your clip is done, uh, what you should get is something that looks like this. Uh, it's a basic MPEG and it should have your correct uh, resolution of your console uh, whether regardless if it's a PS3 or Xbox. I mean in my case it says it's 720p so I have the 720 or 1280 by 720 and I'll just play a quick uh, preview of it. At least that's enough. You get the idea. So the next step would be to uh, render this clip. Now that your clip is done and ready for editing and rendering, uh, you can use uh, a few different uh, software for this. Uh, the one I recommend is Sony Vegas. Uh, I use Vegas Pro 9. Uh, the only problem with that is it is $600. So I can understand why not everybody would want to use that. However, uh, Sony also offers a cheaper alternative uh, to uh, Vegas Pro called uh, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD 
Uh, this the newest version is a uh, around a hundred dollars. Uh, you, you can get the last year's uh, version for I believe around fifty. And uh, basically, it has the same same type of features that you're going to see me go through uh, with this tutorial. So, uh, so that's that. And another thing I'm going to be using in this tutorial is a plugin by uh, New Blue FX called New Blue Video Essentials. Uh, in particular, I'm going to use the Detail Enhancer plugin. I'm gonna play that. Uh, basically, it just brings out the more details from your videos. So the first thing you do uh, when you open up uh, Sony Vegas is you're going to uh, create a new project. So go File, New, and here are my settings right here. Uh, you know uh, the 720p uh, resolution. I have my frame rate set to 60 frames uh, that's also what the Aver Media TV uh, software does it at as well as when I recorded fraps uh, I leave this at 8-bit uh, you could put the 32-bit floating point for full range uh, if you don't not have the detail enhancer if you do uh, just leave uh, uh, this set to 8 uh, at 32 it just brings out more color but it's still not as good as the detail enhancer uh, anyway, uh, on to the next. Uh, I also have uh, full resolution render quality to best. Uh, I believe when it when you uh, first get this, it's good. Uh, always set the best. Uh, motion blur type is Gaussian. The uh, the interlace method is set to none. I have uh, this unchecked off. Uh, adjust source media, and uh, that's basically it for that. For audio, uh, I believe I just pretty much kept everything the same. Uh, as you can see here, and then you know, I don't really have to change any of this stuff, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so once you get your uh, profile, you can go ahead and rename this whatever you like, and then click the little diskette uh, to save your template. Another thing you can do is click on the Start All New Projects with these settings. Uh, this is particularly good if you're going to use the same capture card to record all your footage. So if you're going to be using the Aver Media TV all the time. Uh, it's going to do it in 60 frame, uh, could use a 60 frame rate anyways, so you might as well have all your videos automatically uh, set like that. So go ahead and click OK, and this is what you get. So what you have to do now is go ahead and get your clip. Uh, I'll use the dashboard for this particular thing. Then you can drag it to the timeline, and uh, this is your clip right here. So as you see, this is what we uh, just did. Okay, uh, the first thing I do when I bring in a clip uh, into uh, Vegas is right-click on your clip, go to Switches, and select Disable Resample. Now, it probably won't show on this, but uh, especially when you're playing a game like Call of Duty, uh, sometimes you'll look, especially if you watch a lot of uh, commentaries on YouTube, you'll notice... A lot of their videos have this ghosting effect where it, it almost like double lines everything. Uh, that's because uh, they have uh, smart resample on. Okay, uh, another thing we're going to do is add our video effects to bring out the quality of this a little better. Uh, so click on this little one here. Uh, it's uh, the third one in called Traf F Track uh, FX. Okay, I created a filter package. Basically, a filter package is a bunch of little uh, uh, plugins and things that I've done ahead of time. So, first thing is the detail enhancer. Uh, these are my settings here. I put 100% for definition and I put strength to 10. And by the way, I'll turn this off. As, as you can see, it really makes it nicer. Like, uh, when you have it off, it's more dim looking. It doesn't have a lot of life to it. So uh, that's a good one. Then sharpen. I set uh, the preset to reset to none. And again, it makes a difference too. See, notice how it's a bit blurry with it off. Add it. It really brings up the detail. And then uh, color corrector. Uh, now this particular uh, thing here, the reason I use this is that uh, when you render to MP4, which, which is what I'll be using for this video, uh, I find the uh, color is a bit darker. Uh, so to combat that, what I do is I use the preset computer RGB to studio RGB. 
So go ahead and select that from the drop down. And uh, that just makes it a little uh, lighter. Now you'll notice uh, in the preview it looks fine. Uh, but it's when you uh, render the video that it becomes uh, apparent that it's r way too dark. So those are the three I use. So uh, once you're done with that, just close that. You can then go ahead and edit your clip. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, whatever you like. Uh, you can also add your commentary. Uh, how, how I do that is uh, right click on an open area right here. And click uh, insert audio track. Then uh, click this little area here. It says arm for recording. Then it's going to ask you where do you want to put these recorded files. Uh, select wherever you like. Go OK. And then when you're ready to uh, do your commentary, push the record button. And then uh, it should go through and uh, do your, your commentary. Once you're done with your commentary, click stop. It's going to ask you, uh, are you sure you like this? And whatever I uh, just click done and there's your commentary track uh, one more thing you want to do with your commentary is to make sure that it's louder than your gameplay uh, there's nothing more annoying as a viewer than uh, having the uh, gameplay audio louder than the guy uh, commentating so uh, to avoid that uh, make sure to uh, select your gameplay's audio track uh, is usually going to be the second uh, line on the uh, timeline and then right here there's a slider for volume bring it down to about here that's usually where I, about where I put it about the uh, uh, minus 25 decibels of course it depends on your, your particular gameplay uh, uh, sometimes you, you might want to put it louder depending on your mic too if your mics are really strong uh, or your audio track for, for your commentary is very, really loud you might want to make this a little higher but for the most part for me I usually put it about there and that concludes this part of the tutorial uh, on the next tutorial we're going to show you how to capture PS3 footage how to avoid this particular error and how to uh, use fraps along with VH capture to capture that footage so until next time uh, this is uh, Laburn 98 and I'm signing off